having the best time in Austin, Texas with my friend. But I think I have figured out what I am going to do with my life for the time being, at least. I'm going to go back to my hometown. I'm going to run my business out of my mom's house and I'm going to pay off her mortgage for her because I have always felt like such a burden to her for my entire life and to my whole family, but mostly to my mom because I grew up with my mom and like only my mom, like my dad like lives in Minnesota and I don't really know him very well. And so we've always been like a team and she has always like loved me and supported me like crazy amounts. Like I did gymnastics and gymnastics is like so expensive. She's a teacher and she cares about her kids at school too so much. Like she bought them like so many Christmas presents just out of her own money. She is the coolest, nicest person in the world and she deserves this so much. And so I'm gonna just put like 100% of profits for my business to paying off her house. I think it'll be just the coolest thing ever to pay off her house for her. And it'll make me feel so good and so much like less of a burden to her. Like she actually like got something out of raising me. Like, <laughs> like I wasn't just like this horrible, horrible person that like sucks at life. And so it'll make me feel like I suck less at life too, because I am not such a burden to her anymore. Like I'm like helping her. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then eventually I'll find like a warehouse or like an office space or something and run my business out of there. Or I'll buy a house. Hopefully that would be really cool. That's what I'm going to do. I've started packing up the car and we're going to head out super early tomorrow morning at like 5 a.m. because it's like a 20 hour drive and I'm just going to do it all in one straight shot this time because sleeping in my car was too cold last time. So I don't really want to do that again. And I just need to make it back as soon as possible so I can launch my business as soon as possible and start paying off my mom's mortgage as soon as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm really excited about it and I think it's gonna be really fun. But before I leave Texas, let's relive all the fun memories. This is Wells Branch Park. This is an awesome little park. If you're ever in Texas, in Austin, go to that park. This is my first basketball game I ever went to. I live in a town that's a college town. It's WVU, and that was the first WVU basketball game I've ever been to. Here, I'm in the city of Austin, and they definitely made those statues to climb on. This is the state capital of Austin, and this building is amazing. We went on each of those floors and levels, and it is very cool. That was a mock court procession going on. This is McKinney Falls, and it's so dry there in the winter that it kind of looks like the moon. But I bet in the summertime, this is all full of water, and I bet it's super beautiful. And there's the falls right there. And there is the view out of my bedroom window that morning before I left. So I am driving back right now, and I am just very excited. I am very excited to see my friends. I am very excited to start my skating business. I'm very excited to help my mom pay off her mortgage. I'm just very excited right now for girls nights, for working out with my friends, for skating with my friends. I'm excited for everything and I'm excited for summer. So crazy story, I'm in the middle of driving and it's like, it's supposed to be a 22 hour drive but it's never ever gonna take 22 hours. It's always gonna take like 25 hours cause there's gonna be traffic. I'm gonna be slow. I'm gonna have to stop to use the bathroom. And so I'm in the middle of this 25 hour drive that I'm trying to do all in one stretch. So I don't have to sleep in my car. And so I don't have to stay in a hotel and spend a hundred dollars. And my tire pressure starts dropping. I'm like 12 hours in. I'm like, okay, so I'll just fill it up every 30 minutes. Then I realize, because I talked to my friend, what happens if there isn't a gas station with an air thing every 30 minutes? I'm supposed to be at 32 PSI, and it's dropping about 10 PSI every hour. And it got down to 16, but then I filled it up, and I tried to call AAA, and they were not helpful. And to Toyota said that they could only do a towing service or come out and swap out the tire for the fake tire but that's not helpful because I still have to drive like 800 miles and you can't drive 800 miles on the highway on a fake tire 
I went to AutoZone and they they said, okay, you can put this stuff in your tire. And then I asked, is it going to ruin my tire? And they said, yes. And so I was like, okay, well, I can't do that. And so I found a place to park that they were open. They were just open. So now I am in my car in the parking lot of a Firestone and I just have to let it get a flat tire now. And I didn't want to let that happen. I wanted to just get it fixed. And luckily there's a, like a hotel somewhere over there and I can walk to it. And I asked them if it was okay if I left my car here overnight so that they could fix it in the morning and I could go in the morning to get it fixed. <laughs> and I am really stressed out now. <laughs> I just wanted to get all the driving done. <sighs> I'm gonna look on the bright side now. I'm in, I get to be in whatever town this is. I guess I'm gonna walk and go get something to eat once I stop crying. And then I'll find a hotel and hope it's not too expensive. It's all okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. This is all good. It's all fine. It's all so fine. Like there's really nothing wrong. It's just really stressful. Okay. Okay, bye. I got food so I feel a little bit better now. I was gonna eat it in the store. But the guys were really nice and they said, they asked me where my boyfriend was, <laughs> jokingly. And then I just felt weird about eating in the store. <laughs> so, got my hamburger here in the car. <laughs> but I feel a little bit better now. Cause I have food and it's all okay. I'm gonna get a hotel. And tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. they will fix my car. The people here at Firestone were very, very nice. And I am very happy that I will be able to have my car fixed. <sighs> this is the first time I have ever got a hotel room myself. There's a mirror, it's on the wall. I need to check. What does that mean? Does that mean they can see through? I don't think they can see through. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever got a hotel by myself. I asked him, is the room nice? And he showed it to me. And I said, okay, that looks pretty good. And then I said, is it safe? And he said, yes. <laughs> and I asked how much it was. And I was like, that's okay. I hope my car is okay there by the, the auto fixing place. I walked over here, but I'm not sad anymore. And I am very happy that I am totally cool and safe and don't really have any problems. Everything's all good. We are all good. Oh, now just to chill out and meditate. Now I'm gonna take a shower. Okay, we have the car all fixed and let me show you. I'll insert a before picture, but there's the after. Ready to go. Luckily it was only $30 and they didn't have to do a whole new tire. He was able to fix it and the experience was very good. They were so nice there. I stayed in the hotel. I woke up at seven so I could walk over to be here at eight and they got me in and now it's like 1030 and, and I'll get back to West Virginia in 12 hours probably. So I did end up making it home last night super late and I had just enough time to get a shower and get to bed and but it was a crazy trip. I drove for two days straight. It was like 15 hours one day and then 20 or wait, uh, I think 10 hours the next day, but it was like longer than that because it always takes me way longer to drive because I have to stop, I have to get stuff to eat and use the bathroom and stuff. And it just always takes me so longer and I'm like a, a slow driver and so it ended up taking just two days straight of just sitting in the car <laughs> and driving to get from Austin, Texas to West Virginia. Now today I have been blessed with a beautiful day. It is 65 degrees and sunny with very few clouds if you can see and I am definitely gonna go skating outside today.
So I'm over here minding my own business, roller skating, and I see a guy over there and he is walking and I'm like, okay, cool. Then he starts beelining his way over to me and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. we are not having a conversation today. Step one, always have your headphones. Then if somebody says anything, you can be all like, what? I didn't hear you. What are you talking about? I can't hear you. Step two, grab your camera, put it on a tripod thing and start to record because nobody wants to be looking weird at a video trying to talk to you. And step three, if all else fails, grab all of your stuff and skate fast away because they can't catch you. Recreation of me skating fast away. Safety first. So over the past long while, I've been working on a product that I'm gonna call Skate Tattoos. It's basically like art that you can put on your skates. And I finally came up with a design, let me show you. And I finally put together a sample sheet and then they rejected it because they said it had too many things on it. So I had to be creative and I came up with this. And so I'm gonna have this printed off and then I'm gonna work on applying the the designs to my skates and hopefully it works and it stays and it's removable and I'm very excited for it so that my art can be on skates. So last night, my mom and I came up with the coolest idea. And based on some slippers that she has already made, she is like the best knitter I have ever seen. And she has, she made me these slippers like a long time ago and she makes them for other people like at school and gives them away as gifts. And I think they're so cute. But the idea that we came up with is to put them on the skates as a toe cap. And it would be so cute. These are little sheep. And I was thinking she could make cats. Or what other animals do you think, mom? Bunnies. Bunnies. And I just think they would look so cute on the front of skates. So she is working on coming up with a design for that. And I'm so excited to see how they would look on my skates. Okay, talk me through what you're doing, mom. Right now I'm just trying for size to see what size I need to start with. It looks good. Okay, that is pretty tight, but see, it's not big enough. Okay, are you ready for the reveal of her initial design? It's on there so well. She said she would get rid of a couple of those loops. It's like a lot of them that I see are kind of floppy, but this one is, it's really on there and it's not gonna flop off. And now she can add some ears so I just got my first samples for skin crush in and I am about to open this uh, package it's like super light there's only like a piece of paper in here <laughs> but I am really excited to see how the colors look and then I'm gonna try and put it onto a pair of shorts that I own and see if it will transfer and see how I feel about it. And I'm really excited because then I can start like making like some skatewear stuff. Oh. Wow, okay. It all came out really clear looking. Why did I do this in skates? I don't know. Look at how it came out. It looks exactly how I wanted it to. There's no background on there, which is good. And this is like the perfect size. Make sure if that skate, let's say that one, went on to these shorts, like right where that symbol is. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I wanna do. I wanna make some cute shorts with skates on them. I'm gonna do that today. I'm going to try and adhere to skates and we're gonna test that out. And then I also have, these shirts and shorts that I want to put my art on and so we're also going to try these two and hopefully it works. So this is what it looks like 
And this is all of my art that I have like made so far that I thought would look cool on clothing and stuff. When I first got this, I opened it up and I was like, oh wow, that looks really cool. And then I started looking at it, I was like, wait, it's all like normal, like I can read it. And then I was, I was like, it needs to be reversed or else it won't work right. And then I was like, no, it's okay because on the back side, it's all white. And so that means that this side is gonna be facing up. So the color side is up. And so I can just apply it just like exactly as it is. And it'll hopefully just come right off the paper. I don't know how it works. So I tried to do these little hearts on here and I have one that is, this temperature was too hot and for too long, but that'll stay on there really well because it's like melted in there. This one is perfect just the right temperature for just the right length of time. And then this one was too cold. So that was like 200 degrees ish and it's kind of can peel off a little bit, but it's mostly stuck. I could glue that down there a little bit better. But I just feel like to expect anybody to be able to do this at home, like look at this setup that I have. It's so stupid. I'm temp I have the temperature thing for a meat thermometer and then an iron because irons don't have temperature numbers on them they have like random like cotton or linen like that's not helpful you know why couldn't they just have both like the numbers and like the type of material so we're gonna go with plan b and we're waiting for the other things to come in that i've ordered to test those but these will still they have to work on these shorts there's no way that they don't because that's like what they're made for Okay, so we are about 285 or 286, and that's about what I was aiming for. So let's try to see if this little heart will stick. <laughs> this is hard to do. It said five to 10 seconds or something. What did it say? Ten seconds. Ten. Okay, that was just a total estimate. And then peel it off. Wow, that worked really well. That looks good. Where is it? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's on there. That is cool. That looks very cool. Okay, I'm gonna try a couple more and then see if I have the confidence. I'm gonna try the strawberries before I try a skate. Okay, so I just did the strawberry. Let's peel it off. Ooh, that's really good. Let's see that in the light. That looks super cool. It's so funny to me that like I drew that like just on my iPad. Like I made those strokes. But let's go ahead and cut out a skate. And we're gonna put a skate right here on the shorts. I got this other pair of shorts out to make sure that I'm gonna put it in the right like location so it's not like all off to the side in the wrong spot. Okay, so step one, we're gonna flatten out the shorts first. Okay. It's hard to do actually. Okay. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good. Look at how cool that is. That is so cool. It's so sharp and so clear. Imagine these on. Like, you're wearing this. And it's like, yeah, I skate. Look at my little skate on my short. I'm a roller skater. I'm gonna try these on. Okay. Look at how cool that is. <laughs> I made this. It looks so cool. <laughs> little roller skate on my shorts. I'm gonna wear these to the gym and roller skating. It's just all over the place because I am gonna test these out to make sure it like stays on there really well like it's like it's on there like it's like that's fused that's not coming off 
I think that turned out really well. I just want to like put it through some like tests, like the workout test, the skating test, and run it through the washing machine a few times. And then like, maybe I'll make like 10 of them. I'll put 10 of them up on the website. Cause look at this, they're so cute. They're so cute. And then I could do different colors. Cause I have these other colors over here. Like how cool would these skates look on there too? Like that would look super cool. Or this skate, that would also be cool on there. I know my mom doesn't want to be on camera, but I want to show it to her and get her reaction. So you can just watch me. Here we go. Look at how well very turned cute. Out. I know, right? They turned out really well. Very cute. <laughs> like them. Do you see how like the color is like it's popping? Yeah. Like it's not like I thought it, you wow. sometimes they look faded and stuff, but like right. It's very smooth and. It's crisp. Crisp. Uh -huh. Crisp. Yeah. That's like the right word. Very clear. Yeah.